So, a while ago, a program called Roam Research was released into beta with the goal of becoming a personal knowledge management system that was free-flowing compared to other apps such as Notion, Evernote, and others. It got a large number of positive reviews, but there are a few things that put people off, like the $15 a month price tag and the fact that Roam has access to all of your data, which can't be accessed offline. This is why Obsidian came out with the goal of becoming your second brain and giving you power over your data. Obsidian is still in its beta stages, but it's already shaping up to be a new and interesting way to take your notes. So essentially, the whole premise of Obsidian revolves around links, backlinks to be specific. It's a program built around linking information to each other, so that you can go back and look at certain parts of information. This is contrasted with something like Notion or OneNote, where notes are put into folders and have a strict hierarchy, whereas in Obsidian, you can still have folders, but backlinks are prioritized instead. In terms of pricing, Obsidian is free for personal use, and then there's an optional $25 a month if you want to support the development, and after that, there's the $50 a month license for commercial use. There are also certain add-ons that you can pay for, with those being a sync add-on, which enables your markdown files to be synced to the cloud, and there's also a publish add-on, which is $16 a month, and this add-on will allow you to publish your files directly to the internet. So, when you first download and install the program, you will be greeted with the option to create a vault, which is essentially just the main folder where all your notes are going to be stored. You can make this folder anywhere on your computer, and once you do that, you can start making notes. Just hit the new note button and begin to type away. Obsidian has a pretty clean interface and is fairly simple to use. It uses Markdown files, which means that if you aren't used to Markdown formatting, it can be a bit confusing at first. I found that it is easy to get over in the first day or two of use. Just for reference, here's what the formatting options look like. In general, there are a large variety of formatting styles, and this makes it flexible for writing anything down. One of the major benefits of Obsidian is that it has what is called a note multiplexer, which is basically just splitting up one window into many different windows, and this can be useful for looking at reference when typing something out, or just to see a preview of your notes while typing them out. You can split windows vertically and horizontally, and there's a ton of customization for window viewing. So, just going into a bit of detail regarding the editor, like I said, it's a Markdown editor, so you've got to use the various formatting options that are available in Markdown, but it's still quite flexible, as you can insert various attachments, such as this, for example, if we just bring this here, you can just drag and drop attachments into here, and it'll instantly be linked and brought into your Vault folder. So, you've got a heap of formatting options, such as callouts, code blocks, latex mats, and plenty more. The team at Obsidian are working in the long term to have a what you see is what you get type of editor, which is something that more people are used to. So as I mentioned earlier, the whole point of Obsidian is linking information to each other. And to show how powerful it is, I've got this example database here, simply because my own vault doesn't have enough links or notes y just yet to show the power of Obsidian. So if I were to go into a page here, like this one open here named Backlinks, and I wanted to link another page to this because perhaps it has info that's relevant to it, I would just hit the square bracket twice, and then I could start instantly typing in the name of the page that I wanted to link, and it would then be instantly linked. For example, we'll just link this random page here called Figures MOC from this IMF database, which uh, you can find the link to in the description. And now it's instantly linked to this page called Backlinks. And if you wanted a visual representation of your links, they've got this cool graph view which shows which nodes connect with each other. So as you can see, you've got these various nodes that you can click and drag around here. And if you stay holding them, you can see which nodes uh, this particular node, in this case, 000 index relates to. So if you zoom, you can zoom out, zoom in, and just see the hi overall hierarchy and structure of your nodes, as well as how many nodes you've got. Another useful feature that it has for links, if we go back to the backlinks node that we had, is this panel right here which shows you linked mentions which is where this page backlinks has been mentioned so if i was to go to this demo note for example and link the page backlinks then it would show up here in linked mentions and then you've got unlinked mentions 
This is when the name of this page, which is backlinks, has been mentioned but not linked. So then it'll show up here and it'll load in. So you can see I've got these examples here. Under this example page, I've got two unlinked mentions from backlinks as well as various other unmentioned backlinks in the uh, rest of the database. And this basically shows the other places where the note was mentioned but not linked and it can help you find links between your information that you may not have picked up on earlier. Obsidian allows you to make full use of this feature using a plugin which can be found in the plugins section of the settings which is something that I'll talk a bit more about later. This plugin is called random note and it basically is just a button that shows you a random note with a click. Personally I haven't gotten too much use out of it but looking online at some other setups that people have, it can be useful for rediscovering info or a note that you took down a while ago, which is the whole point of Obsidian, to help you build your knowledge base. So there's a whole heap of settings for customization, such as editor options, file creation and deletion options, the appearance, which can be customized via CSS, all the hotkey shortcuts that you need to know, and you've actually got options to customize some of them here as well as the option to log in, although you don't need that for basic functions of the app. And you've got the about, which shows you which version of the app you're on. But I wanna talk a little bit more about this plugin section here. So this basically allows you to enable a whole bunch of extra features, such as file explorer, searching, quick switcher, and there are some more advanced ones, such as having a custom CSS theme, being able to have a daily note template, record audio, or even use the Zettelkasten prefixer for your notes, which is apparently a method used to categorize and link information to each other. So overall, in the few weeks that I have been using this with my stuff imported from Notion, I found that Obsidian offered a clean and intuitive experience to be constantly looking for connections within documents, just like in our brains. It has a great UI and is quite easy to get started with, but for me personally, I was hard pressed to find connections between my notes and documents and felt that the markdown formatting, for me personally at least, was harder to get used to than something like Notion, which has a what you see is what you get approach. And for that reason, me personally, I won't be migrating permanently to Obsidian, but I could see how Obsidian is a great software for those who are able to find more connections within notes, as well as people who like to organize their notes in a way that is similar to Obsidian. So if you want Obsidian, just check out the link in the description and thank you for watching.